Welcome to Hope Channel International. We know the birth dates of some of her friends and family, but how old is the planet we're living on? If you've ever wondered how old the Earth is, this video is for you. Dr. Standish, I got, I got a question for you. You know, is the Earth a few thousand years old? I believe it is. Okay. And um, uh, that's a question that obviously needs some unpacking. Probably the number one attack on the um, authority of Scripture is this business of time and, and what, what we're going to do with it. If you look at prophecy, it's all about time as well. Now, the Bible has proven to be extremely accurate when it comes to dealing with periods of time. Um, you know, all of those time prophecies like in right. Daniel and so right. on, they all work out. And William Miller, who we started off with, he was looking at a time prophecy there. And um, uh, so getting, getting our minds around time and the Bible is, is an important thing. Um, there's, there's a generic way of looking at time. You know, we may, I, let, me, let me just state up front. There is no way of knowing from the Bible the exact time day of creation. Right. Uh, there, there have been people who actually um, have uh, suggested that God started the creation, I believe it was on Sunday morning. In fact, it had to be Sunday morning, obviously. First day of the week. The right. first day of the week. Uh, Sunday morning, 9 a.m., 4,000, <laughs> oh, October 22, ironically, I think, 18, uh, sorry, uh, 4,004 B.C. Wow. The reason that Christians believe that, the, that life, at least, is on the, you know, around 6,000 years old or so, is because of genealogies that are given in the Bible. Right. So-and-so begat so-and-so, and they were, so and they were such and such an age. Incidentally, all and those genealogies of real people lead back to Adam. Yes. And yes. Adam's in the list of real people. Yes, exactly. You know, where, where, do, where do we go to the mythical people yeah. in there? There's no, there's no clean break to make, obviously. Well, um, when you start adding those numbers up, uh, the ages of those people when they had children and so on. You quickly see that these are like the kind of numbers that we deal with as scientists. Numbers only have so much precision to them. Um, so if I say, well, I flew 3,000 miles to get here, it's about 3,000 miles, but it's not exactly 3,000 miles. We right. all understand that. And when we start adding up numbers like that, there's going to be a little bit of error sure. that's in there. So we can't be that precise. It depends a little bit on how people started counting how old people are. But anyway, when it's all said and done, we go off genealogies um, that are given here in, in God's Word. How else would we know how old the earth is? Um, we have some techniques that might be used, like radiometric dating, for example. Right. All of those are based on certain assumptions that may or may not be correct. The truth is that there, it is a lot easier to know that something happened than to know when it happened. Um, that's just the nature of knowledge itself. So I believe that you can look at the creation and you can say, yes, it's pretty obvious that it happened, or at least that there's very good evidence right. that it occurred. But knowing when it occurred particularly when we take into consideration that once you believe that God was active in that creation, um, you know, knowing when is, a, is just something that you can't necessarily figure out any other way than being told. The analogy that I would use is something like when I look at my car, the truth is I don't know whether it took a week to make that car or whether it took a month to make it or whether it took six hours. I don't know. Presumably somebody does. There's probably a record there in the car factory right. that says that car with that VIN number started out at such and such a time on such and such a day, and it rolled off the production line at such and such a time on such and such a day. It's a written record. There's no other way of knowing. Okay. Right. So the Bible tells us that the earth, you know, well, life, you know, God, God molded the earth and, and then put life on it in six days. How else would I know? There is no other way of knowing. This is God telling us. The same is really true with when it occurred. Yeah. Okay. How else would I know? Well, the Bible gives me a written record that tells me 
approximately when that happened, you know, but not exactly. One of the things I like about it is we have a lot of questions. We weren't there, yes. and so we don't have any observational records of what God did, but the Bible says God's going to create the earth anew. Isaiah 65, Isaiah mm -hmm. 66, 2 Peter chapter 3, He's going to make a new heavens and a new earth.